I've got myself a nice cold or something. But if you hear any noise, it's that little lady down there. Anyway, uh, Black Sabbath, Tony Iommi. Uh, we'll just start with Tony I. Black Sabbath, Tony Iommi actually plays a guitar with a a few missing finger parts. Not the whole finger, but parts of two fingers, I believe, are gone. Uh, Tony Iommi, Ozzy Osbourne, Geezer Butler, and Bill Ward formed Black Sabbath in 1968. They're often credited, or given credit, for pioneering the heavy metal genre. And although there's no way to prove it, I guess, but I've heard that Black Sabbath was the first ones to use the Devil's Tritone, or Devil's Interval, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Iomi, sorry, Iomi has, he's collaborated, Tony Iomi has collaborated with quite a few artists, he's been with uh, Brian May, Glenn Hughes, Dave Grohl, I, I think he's pretty good friends with Brian May, so, anyway, Tony Iomi lost his fingers, uh, or tips of two fingers, in an industrial accident at a sheet metal factory where he worked and he actually uses plastic finger tips to play now in order to continue playing guitar after his finger injury Tony Iommi had to detune his guitar way down and then use a really light gauge strings which kind of made up the unique sound that became Black Sabbath Black Sabbath was inducted into the Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, in 2006, recognizing their influence on the rock genre. He's also involved in various charity, act, charitable activities, including supporting cancer research. He has helped raise awareness and funds for cancer treatment and research, drawing from his own experience with the disease. He's been through a lot and made it through a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tony Iommi's impact on the world of music, particularly in the realms of heavy metal, is a huge, it's huge, and his ability to stand in the face of adversity is truly inspiring.